All right, Graham Giusa Matthews here with Ted DiBiase with Bleacher Report. Ted, how's it going, sir? Doing very well. How are you enjoying yeah. SummerSlam weekend so far? Uh, so far, so good. You know, I'm having some fun. It's, uh, it's, it's good to get back in the atmosphere. Anything fun planned for Vegas so far? I mean, obviously takeovers on Sunday, but before then. Well, I'm, you know, here's here's my thing. I've got, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do. I did media yesterday, and, and I did media today, and then when I'm through with the media today, I'm on a plane to, to Nashville because I have a, a prior commitment that I have to be to. I would love to stay and be able to experience the the show. I mean, it's kind of like, uh, you know, I was one of the in one of the first Summer Slams, and you know. The, the biggest summer slam of all, you know, uh, Wembley Stadium, mm-hmm. 80,000 people, largest crowd I ever wrestled in front of. So yeah. I have a lot of good memories of SummerSlam. I mean, this SummerSlam has a similar vibe, Giant Stadium and Allegiant yeah. Stadium. You said right. you got a prior commitment, but talk about your favorite SummerSlam memories, being a part of the very first one, a lot of great ones. Well, yeah, well, obviously the one I just mentioned was probably the one I remember most because, you know, I mean, I wrestled for almost 20 years, mm-hmm. and that is the largest crowd I ever wrestled in front of. It was 80,000 people at mm-hmm. Wembley, and, uh, you know, me and IRS, and we worked with two guys that, uh, you know, are both gone now, God bless them, and miss them both dearly, but had a lot of fun with them, and, you know, Hawk and Animal, you know, mm-hmm. so it was, uh, it was, it was just, my, you know, again, biggest event in terms of, of, of uh, maybe not the biggest event that I ever wrestled yeah, at, yeah, yeah. but as far, in terms of, biggest crowd that was it so yeah. it, it was very exciting and to walk out into that crowd mm-hmm. just i don't know how to explain yeah. that it's like it generates you it's like you know it's like first you go holy <laughs> wow yeah, you know and then it's like okay now we got to get down to business but then when the people respond to you yeah. and there's eighty thousand on that you know I, I, I tell you what keeps you remaining. You know, I, I watched the movie Bohemian Rhapsody Great movie. about Queen. I love it. I've watched it three or four times. Yep. But they have that scene at the very end, yeah. at the very end of, of Wembley Stadium, and I said, "Well, right where that, right where that tent is, yep. that's where the ring was, <laughs> and the, it was the rest of it was people, and yeah. uh, it was just awesome." Just the great atmosphere, and crazy to think that was almost 30 years ago, celebrating the 30-year anniversary oh, next yeah. August in 92. Oh, that means crazy. I'm getting really old. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is, this, is, this is classic. Yeah. Jimmy and I, Jimmy Hart and I, we went, we went and did uh, some, some stuff yesterday. We, yep. got in, uh, we got in the car, and, you know, the limits to, 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 to we actually were over at MGM Grand yeah. doing something there. And so we come back over here, and, and, and the drivers asked Jimmy, he says, you know, he says, you know, Jimmy, can I get a picture with you? And he said, sure. He says, come on, Ted, get in here with me, you know. Yeah. And so I do. And the, the driver looks at me, and I have the mask. I says, he says, and who are you? Oh, my goodness. And, and, and I said, and I took the mask off, and I said, I'm Ted DiBiase. <laughs> and, and you should have seen the look on his face like, oh, my God. He's it, so it really is. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, I, I wasn't because I said, you know, number one, I don't have – I don't have uh, highlighted blonde hair anymore, yeah. and I'm wearing glasses, <laughs> and I'm much older. So, yeah. I, 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 you know, when the pandemic hit, I said, oh, you know what? I told my wife, I said, the fans are just going to have to get used to yeah. me looking like I look now. So, <laughs> yeah. but the funny thing is that you're still on TV every single week as part of NXT right now. Jimmy Hart is not, you know. So, if anything, he should be recognized. He watches the current product. But talk to me a little bit about that. Did you ever think you'd be back on a regular role on WWE TV, doing what you're doing right now as the million dollar, you know, champion and everything else? Uh, no, uh, you know, I, you know, and I, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know that the writers expected it to to go yeah. on as long as it has. It's just been kind of a one organic thing, and they, you know, when they first presented it to me and explained it, and I understand that, uh, you know, Cameron actually, he legitimately is somebody who follows the stock market and has done pretty good, so I think that's where they came up with the story of him hitting it big and then me, you know, coming behind him and just one up and he, you know, every week uh, to have some fun with it, and then it just, just kind of it just kind of blossomed on its own. I mean, it's as as it went on, and yeah. and uh, and they were liking what they saw. They said, "Well, let's just extend it." And I said, "Well, look, good. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm happy to do it." And it's been a great story for the last three or four months in NXT TV. And the crazy thing is, I, thought, I was at the, my hotel yesterday. I see someone walking by with a million dollar championship. I'm seeing a ton of those right now. I mean, obviously, it's always been a very popular prize, but seeing yeah. the resurgence of that. What are your thoughts? This on? is what happened. And this is some, this is great. Yesterday, so. Uh, Jimmy Hart and I, yeah, we, we came back from MGM Grant because we did some interviews over there, mm-hmm. some stuff over there. And so we came back over here. But while we, they, they, have, they have a room over there with all, all, of the, all the merch, right? 
So Jimmy wanted to go in there and look. So I said, that's cool. I'll go in there yeah. too. And so, a superstar, yeah. Yeah, and so I go, I, I walk in there and I'm walking around, you know. And so I, this guy's buying a million dollar belt. And I, 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 I stepped up behind him, you know. I said, man, that's a great choice. I like that belt. And he turned around. <laughs> Did you do the signature laugh? The, when the, 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 the expression on his face was... This guy, I mean, I'm buying the million dollar belt, and the million dollar man comes up and taps me on the shoulder. Yeah. What are the odds? And I said, uh, How about if I sign that for you? Amazing. And so I signed his belt for him, and it was just, you know, and I just thought, What an unbelievable, you know, for, you know, for, I couldn't help it. I had yeah. to do it. Such an amazing experience. Oh, yeah. Enjoy SummerSlam weekend. Have a safe flight tomorrow. Thanks so much for the time. I appreciate All right. it. Thank you.